What's going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial on how to flash the Node MCU firmware to your ESP8266. I will also be posting many tutorials on how to use the Node MCU firmware. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need is a an FTDI to USB converter. So you can get those from eBay. Make sure that it's a 3.3 volt one since the uh, ESP module uses 3.3 volt logic. So once you have your UART to USB converter, you're gonna have to make these connections to your ESP. Also make sure that in your converter, if it has the option between five volts and 3.3 volts, that you place your jumper on the 3.3. In this picture, the jumper is placed on the five volts. So it should actually be placed on the 3.3 volt jumper. So as you can see here, it says five volts. This is 3.3, so the jumper should be on this pin and the middle pin. So now that you have your uh, circuit connection, let's go ahead and download the software that you need. So you need two pieces of software to use NodeMCU. You need a an IDE that will let you upload the code up to your uh, ESP Wi-Fi module. So I'll be posting the links to everything that I'm showing you here. So this is the IDE that you will use to upload your Lua code once you have flashed the firmware. So go to this link and click download the latest eXplorer. So go ahead and download this IDE. Next, you want to download the flasher. So this is a program that is used to flash the firmware to your ESP. So when you go to this link, click download zip. We're also going to need the latest firmware. So we go to the NodeMCU firmware GitHub page. Since we want the the latest, like the very latest, we're going to go to the dev branch and then releases. So go ahead and download one of these two. The difference between the integer and the float is that the float lets you have uh, lets you have floating point arithmetic. So for example, if uh, you multiply a two numbers and you expect a fraction, you want to get the float. If you are just working with integers, then you want to get the integer version. So that is the difference between the two. Also, the difference is the number of the amount of memory that they each occupy. So you can see that uh, the float version occupies 419 kilobytes, while the integer version occupies 407 kilobytes. So just click on either of these two links and go ahead and download it. So I'm going to install the integer version. I'm going to download it to my desktop. So now that you have the software that we need, go ahead and open the Flasher software. And of course, make sure that uh, you have your FTDI connected to your computer already. So let's go ahead and open the Flasher. So in the Flasher folder, if your computer is a Windows 32, go ahead and open this folder. If it's a 64, go ahead and open this folder. Mine is a 64-bit, so I'm going to open the 64-bit folder. And I'm going to head over to this executable. Double-click it. Click Run. So this window is going to come up and make sure that you select your port where your FTDI converter is connected to. So this is actually an automatic selection. Mine was connected at 22 and that's what uh, got selected. So now to select the uh, firmware file, actually the, uh, the flasher comes with its own version of the firmware, but since we want to install the version that we downloaded, you want to go to config make sure that you have exactly what I have here. Click on this settings button and go ahead and look for the file that we downloaded, the binary file. So go ahead and open that. Once again, make sure that you have that your screen looks exactly like mine. Now you want to go back to operation, click flash.
and uh, sometimes you might get an error what what is happening here if you notice it says serial port connected but it says that I cannot find my ESP I think the reason for that is because I had a uh, I had an ex a uh, I just installed uh, another firmware <clears throat> and uh, I needed to power down my ESP first and then power it back up so I'm going to stop this I'm going to remove power from my ESP and turn it back on so I think that should work now I'm going to click the flash button again and there we go so when once you see the AP Mac and the station Mac the AP Mac is your access points Mac address the uh, station Mac is your stations Mac address and that information will actually be saved in your config folder that was created when you open this program so you go to your config folder and open this text uh, file you will see the same information that you see here so now we just have to wait until the download finishes I'm going to go ahead and pause the video okay so once the uh, software finishes downloading to your ESP you're going to see this green check mark that means that we are ready to go and the first thing you want to do is you want to close this program you want to remove power from your ESP by disconnecting it from your USB or if you have any other kind of switch you just go ahead and remove power from the ESP in other words a hardware reset so once you have removed power also make sure that you remove the connection from GPIO 0 to ground so do not leave it connected to ground anymore so once you have remove power and disconnected the GPIO 0 from ground go ahead and open the IDE that you downloaded so I'm going to go ahead and open that folder and inside that folder I'm going to go ahead and click on this Java executable so double click on that and also power your ESP power up your ESP again and now I'm going to select the port where my FTDI uh, to USB converter is connected to the uh, baud rate should be 9600 go ahead and click on open go ahead and click on reset and this is coming out from my ESP this is the uh, firmware version that we installed notice that the number matches the number of the binary that we uploaded so that is how you install NodeMCU. Don't forget to stay tuned for my other NodeMCU tutorials. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.